Hey guys, this is Dracon bringing you another hero. Uh, <laughs> I mess it up every time. This is Dracon bringing you another Kingdom of Heroes video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, room packs, right? So, part of one of the packs I bought so I could get an LD scroll was. Oh, that's in here too long. And let's max this out. I got a six star legendary charge room pack as part of that purchase. And I got some errors of choice. We may pop these in a minute, see what happens. Anyway. The most important thing in here is the legendary rune pack. So we're going to pop this open and then roll a few of them if it's worthwhile to roll them based on the two, four, and sixes. I mean, just give you guys kind of a breakdown on how runes work, what we're looking for, what we want, where we can use them at. So the charge pack, if you guys don't know, that's the attack percent runes. And I wanted that for Ifrit or Freed, um, any of my heroes that are fighters, mages, um, archers, something along that line. Let's go ahead and pop this and see what it looks like. So you can see it's going to give us six six star runes that are all legendary. I don't recommend buying rune packs. Uh, I mean, if you got money to spare large, it's definitely going to put you ahead of other people. But it's really hit or miss. I mean, you could definitely, definitely see uh, <laughs> a lot of charges to your to your master card if you play this the wrong way. But like I said, it came as part of a pack because I wanted to get an LED scroll and just so I could start building up some LED units for you guys. Show you what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and hit confirm. All right, so we've got a slot one. All right, so already it's not looking that great um, with that max HP, but as I scroll down my eyeballs, because they're kind of slow, uh, that speed, if we had swapped that speed with that max HP, I would say this is a perfect six star charger in, right? We've got the attack substat, attack percent substat, crit rate substat, and crit damage substat. We are definitely keeping this, and we are going to Roll it and see what kind of substats we can get on it. Um, hopefully they will dodge that max HP for the sake of the video and the sake of my sanity. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So we'll obtain that. Let's take a look at the slot two. So max HP on a charge rune. It's a six star legendary. Uh, it's about all it's got going for the the flat HP, flat attack. Flat HP would be fine uh, with an HP percent rune if it was a set that kind of builds upon it. I mean, maybe there's going to be a tanky bruiser somewhere that I haven't seen that I can charge this on just to, or throw this on to build up his stats. But overall, not what we're looking for. We're really hoping for attack runes, but that's okay. We're going to keep it because we don't have a lot of six-star legendary runes yet. Slot three, flat defense, which is normal for slot three. Slot two, four, six is where we have to kind of watch that main stat. Everything else is uh, just going to be what it's going to be. Uh, let's see. So we've got resistance, accuracy. Max HP flat and crit rate. <coughs> Sorry. The crit rate percent is great. The accuracy percent is great. Everything else is garbage. Like we, This is not a great rune. Uh, we'll probably roll it up anyway just because, again, it's a six-star legendary early game. But typically this is a rune. Like late game, I'd probably just roll it. And if I don't get every roll into a crit rate, I'd probably end up selling it. If uh, I mean, I guess we could just re-roll the substats down the road and see how it turns out. It is a six star legendary, so eventually it'll be useful in that light. Slot four, attack percent. So uh, they're definitely gonna keep this. We've got an accuracy percent substat, which is fine. Uh, the other substats that we can actually change, nothing too valuable except for that crit damage. So again, if that had been attack percent, maybe a speed uh, substat, it would have been, and still have that flat attack, that would have been okay. Which again, <laughs> I'm saying uh, attack percent, but attack percent is the primary, so it wouldn't be a sub. So on this one, we would just hope for the crit damage, crit rate, and speed. And then anything other than that is useful. Maybe some HP would have been nice. Moving down the line, we've got a slot 5. Max HP, accuracy percent, so not a bad rune. Uh, crit damage and crit rate. So this could definitely turn out to be a decent rune. Uh, if resistance or flat attack had been attack percent, would have been perfect. Or as close to perfect as we typically see. Slot 6, flat defense. So that's a bust already. So as you guys can see, that's what I'm talking about with these rune packs. You're really hit or miss. Uh, with that main stat being useless. Uh, I mean, what are we going to do with it? I'm pretty sure we can't re-roll the rune for a new main stat. We can only re-roll for substats in this game. I'm going to mess with that some later. I haven't really been farming in those areas to see. I've just been seeing certain uh, bonuses pop up that we can apply to the substats in shop. So I'm assuming, like most games, we'll be able to eventually reroll these runes. We'll hang on to it for now, but more than likely this will just be one that gets sold down the road. So with that being done, let's pop into the rune box. Yeah. And we 
will change the filter to charge runes. Six star. Apply. So that's our new six runes. As you can see, the other runes I've got that are six star charge runes are already equipped on other heroes. So slot one, let's go ahead and upgrade. And one thing I like about the upgrade process in this game, right? One, you get 10 automatic upgrades every time until it fails, and then you can just pop it again or hit quit when you're ready to quit. All right, so we got a quit damage boost. I wonder if we can click on these tabs while we're waiting. Nope. All right, we're looking pretty good so far. We got two rolls into crit damage. So if it goes into crit rate or attack or keeps rolling into crit damage, that's going to be great. I wouldn't mind having a <laughs> all crit. And this is what I like, Reddit. I wish I could just set it to, you know, go all the way to plus 15, just keep going until it fails, just so we could have a before and after of the entire rune. So right now we're looking at double rolls into crit damage. Let's see if we can't keep up this... Uh, Nice little run. Nope, oh, okay, we can take that. 8% crit rate. And we're just going to stop at plus 12. We're just trying to watch the substats. I'm not going to make you guys watch, you know, 100 failures to get to plus 15. I think I'm at uh, like 600 failures on rolling runes already. Since I haven't been rune farming, I've only been leveling runes as I need them. Trying to save that silver because that silver is hard to come by. And I think once this event's over, where they have us getting the silver farming every day, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to come by. So try not to overdo anything at the moment. Alright, so uh, one roll into max HP. That was kind of a bust. And if we ever wanted to reroll these substats, you know, are we really going to do better? Probably not. So we'll probably just end up boosting the crit damage crit rate attack with uh, the little additionals. So if we look at the crafts. We don't have anything we can amplify this with. I don't think we have any reforge. Oh, we got some reforge. Oh, no. So you need 10 of uh, these reforge materials to reforge it. We don't have any. All right. So jump into the next rune. Like I said, that's not a bad rune. We'll end up keeping it for a long, long time, I imagine. And even on these, some of these bad runes, all we need to do is kind of filter them down. I'm not going to worry about that since it's HP. This one we'll go ahead and do. So on this one we're hoping for a crit rate more than anything else. Maybe we'll see a triple roll and a crit rate, hopefully. Resistance. So definitely useless on a attack based rune. Anytime you have an attack based rune you're putting on an attacker, you're gonna probably have them on some kind of immunity set or with a hero that can put immunity on them if you're worried about being debuffed. In this game right now, I'm not worried about it. I just want as much attack and power as I can get. Yeah, let's start with it, guys. I keep coughing. My sinuses are just draining really bad right now. <laughs> Seems like everything's just going to go into resistance. Not what we were wanting at all. So this just shows you guys, you know, the <laughs> lack of value you get out of a rune pack half the time. You might get one decent rune every pack that you buy. So, man, coughing again, sorry guys. This is pretty bad. All right, I need to go get some allergy medicine, I guess. So this attack percent rune, we'll go ahead and roll that. Definitely find a home for it. Great damage, not a bad way to start. And like I said, guys, if you get these runes and it's not what you need in the right slot, just go ahead and roll it anyway. Uh, put it on one of your three, four, five star units. So the best thing you can do is when you build up these runes, you know, we're going to take them. Uh, resistance, not good. <laughs> uh, we're going to take these runes, and as we get better runes, we'll just roll them down into our lesser used units so that we can build up teams of units. 
It's going to be especially uh, useful in certain events where you can only use units once or twice. Or help with uh, climbing tower of arrogance. Man, we're just rolling some serious resistance tonight. That is disappointing. I mean, it's pretty standard look for me. How my runes roll in most of these games. The last game I played, I was really hoping for some like triple and quad speed rolls. Never got them. This game, I don't feel like speed is that important. I mean, it's nice, but the AI is not the brightest. So it'll just pop all your S3s when you're too far away to do anything. So as we get to higher tier PvP, we'll probably have to do more and more control. Unless our runes just get that much better than everybody else's. Alright, so at least we got something useful with max HP for some of the final roll. The rest of it's been pretty disappointing. So in this one, same thing we've been hoping for, either crit damage or crit rate. Alright, off to a good start, but is the rest of it going to go to resistance? Seems to be what we've been uh, <laughs> getting so far. Nope, nope, crit damage. I would love for it to bounce between the two the entire time. Alright, so we got plus 4% on the crit damage, and we got plus 6% on the crit rate. I think 4% is probably the minimum, and I don't know if 6 is the max or not. It's probably something I need to research and make a video about. <laughs> If you guys know, leave it in the comments below, and then I'll uh, give that information out for everybody else to know. Once we start rune farming, you know, those kind of questions will be answered pretty quickly. Because we'll start rolling two to three runes a day, probably, as long as the silver can keep up. <clears throat> Alright, come on. More crit rate, crit damage. Sweet. <laughs> Another 5% crit rate. So I would say so far we've gotten probably two useful runes. So it hasn't been a bad pack. Hasn't been a great pack. Plus 12. And 21% crit rate. Alright. So with this we couldn't really ask for more on. And we got a quick plus 13 out of it. So that 21% crit rate and 10% crit damage. We'll replace the resistance and attack. We'll hope for attack percent and speed, probably. Or max HP. Either one would be useful. And moving on, we got slot 6 defense. We're not going to roll that. Let's take this filter off. Alright, 13 minutes. So we'll just leave the video there, because I keep coughing. <laughs> I feel another cough coming on, so we're just going to call it quits with that. Uh, if you guys want me to roll some more runes, just let me know. I don't mind making rune rolling videos just so you can see what I'm looking for, where we're going. But it's pretty pretty clear at that point. Like I said, this is from Varman uh, Conqueror. Leveling up units. I try to sell this probably one to two times a day. I wish there was a quick way to select everything. I know there's that select all button. You know what? <laughs> I bet there is. Let's do this then. Let's uh, cancel the sell. Turn the filter on. And we will set it to one, two, three, and four star runes of all variety and apply that filter. Now I've been doing this the, the slow way because I'm not the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> Alright, looking at this, yeah. So now we'll hit sell, all, sell. Get a quick 340,000 silver. Now we're up to almost 3 million. Like I said, I'm being very, very frugal on the runes that I keep and don't keep. All right, so we got a bunch of 5-star whites that we've gotten also that we need to sell off. So if we set this to a 5-star, normal, magical, we'll hang on to the rares. Like I said, I'm using rares as a filler or as a stopgap sometimes to just make sure I get a full set bonus. Apply this. Sell, sell all, and that's another 70,000. I recommend don't roll white runes, guys, unless you're just trying to break into specific dungeons or you need it as a placeholder. Silver will become harder and harder to come by as you try to plus 12 and 15 more and more runes. 
All right, and that's it for this video. Uh, if there's anything else you guys would like me to cover, let me know. Um, yeah, I think we've got some summons we might be able to toss in right here at the end. I've been kind of summoning on my own. <laughs> I really wanted some more units. I really needed some tree units, right? I, I used up a bunch of crystals to get Bunny. I should have probably been going after Elagos. Anyway, so we've got a Legendary Scroll, which is going to guarantee us a 5-star. And then we've got a Patient Scroll, which I have no idea what that does. My first time seeming one of these. Alright, 100% 4-star, but not a L and D. And Legendary... Okay, Legendary can be a 4 or a 5-star. <laughs> but not L and D. So, let's do the Legendary. Pretty close to getting that L and D scroll. Unless it's a divine. They always look the same to me. Yeah, that's a divine scroll, so not too far away from that. Yep, nat 4, not a nat 5. Another Gunther. Nothing exciting. Let's go to that other advanced scroll. Or patient scroll, I'm sorry. See what 4 star we get. Yeah, nothing exciting. Like, I've got just, I feel like I have every priest in the game at this point. That might be something interesting to look at. Let's see if I have every priest in the game. Let's go to our hero box. Wonder if we can do it through the codex. Can we, yeah. Oh, that's, that's mage. My bad. Alright, I'm exaggerating a little bit. There's a few priests that we don't have, but it looks like mostly L and D. We got one green priest we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> I would say we don't need more priests. We're we're looking pretty strong on priests, especially in the green region. Like we got every green priest except for one. Three of the oh, I'm sorry, I can't count. Four water priests and two fire priests. So I'd say we're pretty good to go on that. <laughs> Alright, well, if you guys like this video, sorry about all the coughing. I apologize. My sinuses are just getting the better of me. I'll try to do better in the next one. But probably not going to buy a bunch more rune packs unless it just comes as part of a, a box that I think is worth buying based on the scrolls that it provides and the crystals. Uh, if you have any questions about the crystals, uh, best use for crystals, hands down, energy refills, especially when you're doing the XP farming. If you guys are playing, definitely play this weekend, especially play today until 7 p.m. tomorrow rune, uh, or... <laughs> 7 p.m. tomorrow when the server resets because we right now have a bonus applied effect of silver, right? So the XP boost was yesterday. Uh, right now I've just got a 24-hour one running for me. I'm going to be leveling up nothing but units over the next 24 hours because I want to make sure I take full advantage of this silver coin event that's going to be going on until 7 p.m. Eastern St or Central Standard Time tomorrow. Keep in mind also we've only got another month left of the Rich Fairies Forest and XP Rift events where they're available every day for five runs. So make sure you're hitting those every day. The energy cost is more than worth it, especially on that XP event. Those guys are coming handy anytime you summon a new unit that you want built out quickly. And it's part of your daily uh, quest anyway, and your achievement quest. So make sure you're knocking those out as you go. If you're looking for any kind of advancement because you're getting stuck, just click on achievements and click on path guide and make sure you are following and maxing out these. I am almost done with the main quest one. I'm just kind of dragging. I haven't focused on this. I unlocked this a couple of days ago. And I guess I need to go back and clear out some of these things. Daily missions. Make sure you're doing these, right? You get these uh, pieces where if you summon 100 of them, you can get the skill fairy. These guys are some of the rare sh uh, resources in the game where you can skill up your nat fives. So other than that, have a great night. Have a great weekend. And I will make sure to bring more consistent content.